I've been oiling the heck out of this rack assembly and where the spindle goes through the shell here. Lots of lube, and then I took my dead blow hammer and I started to work this handle uh, back and forth gingerly, and I've got this thing to move. It's amazing to me how forgiving old machinery is. You just neglect it, neglect it, neglect it, and you give it a little oil, and I'm telling you, it's just, just amazing to me. Now, obviously this all has to come apart and be cleaned properly, but I mean, the spindle is loose. The rack, I'll get the camera around here in a minute. The rack is in, again, dirty, but in beautiful condition. Just needs to be cleaned. Man, it's just, <laughs> this old machine really impresses me. Yeah, that rack, the teeth are beautiful. There's no chips or pitting or galling or anything like that, but uh, imagine how smooth this thing is going to operate once I get all this really cleaned up and then properly lubricated. Man, I am just, <laughs> I'm tickled pink. So the next order of business is to get that hand wheel off of there and then pull that shaft out, the other half of the worm gear. This is in fact a set screw. I'm wondering if at one time it was a tapered pin and it stripped out on them and they had to, um, sorry crappy camera work, and they had to drill and tap that. I don't know, I'm just guessing. This is an oil hole still. So I'm gonna fill that up with oil. Start working this back and forth, loosening things up. See if I can get this apart. In the first video in this series, I had a viewer caution about the high probability of uh, all this paint containing lead. And I would agree wholeheartedly with that assessment. Uh, on this old stuff, I typically don't use sand, a sander or a grinder. I'll use a commercial stripper like Citrus Strip to remove uh, old paint like this. Um, just for that reason. Let's see if I can break this set screw loose. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Well... Looks like that uh, hand wheel is going to be coming off without too much trouble. Back and forth, back and forth, about there. The shaft has a flat machined on it, specifically to accept that set screw. Originally I thought it might be a tapered pin, but there's no through hole on the back side for a tapered pin. So it is in fact just a set screw, as evidenced by the flat machined onto this shaft. Yeah! You know how easy that shaft's going to come out of there. I have to work that a little bit. Put a little more oil in that hole. I debated whether or not to even take this apart because there was absolutely no slop in that shaft whatsoever. And it's just as clean as a whistle. But it's coming apart real easy. I'm just using a brass punch here is going to be, enable me to get in there and uh, clean up the bore. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Other than a little dirty oil. And that's from me. But I mean that shaft is no nicks, no pits. And there's the uh, flat. I don't know if you can see it. Right there for the set screw for the hand wheel. So yeah, moving right along. 
this is uh, coming apart real nice. Disassembling this spindle again, beautiful condition. Oil groove carved into it. We got ball bearings there for riding along the top here. So let me start pulling the rest of this apart. I have no idea how this spindle comes out of here other than it just disengages from the rack. Doesn't look like it. I thought it would just drop straight out. But it doesn't, so I guess I'm gonna have to start pulling it apart there. This mechanism here is what engages and disengages your auto feed. Um, you pull this lever, which just has a little piece of spring steel there that's screwed to the bottom. Pull that lever, bring that handle up, that locks it, that engages the worm gear. Bringing it up engages the worm gear that works your uh, auto um, down feed. And disengaging is just the opposite. You drop that lever and then it's you're in manual mode at that point i cut a chunk of scrap wood uh, to uh, support the uh, spindle while i start pulling this head assembly apart i'm not sure what all is going to come flying apart and i probably won't film that i'll show you the after the afterwards so i think i'm going to need all my hands <laughs> pulling that apart. We'll see how it goes. What am I thinking? I can film some of the disassembly anyway. It's when I start pulling these bolts out for this that I'll probably not film that because I want to I want to uh, have all hands free to catch stuff if it comes apart. Well what transpires here so far so good okay that's connected to this assembly which makes sense because it has to raise that up and down the bolt just acts as a pivot so I guess we'll start pulling this apart This looks like a mouse trap ready to fall apart. There we go. Yeah, we got a we got a slide here. And um, so yeah. I got a handful of parts here, it's about to come apart, so hang on. So by taking these bolts out, that's a clamp, but it's not a two piece, it's a one piece. There's no seam on this side. So what I'm speculating here is, I've got to take this T-handle off and push that shaft through, which will disengage from the rack, sorry, and the light's in the way, sorry. And then the spindle will drop down. That's what I'm hoping. So we'll see what happens. We got a 3 8 square headed set screw right here. So we'll see, well, it's like everything else on this thing. It's just coming right apart beautifully. Looks like that something's coming out. But it looks like it's the whole shaft, not the hand wheel. So let me work on that a little bit. 
well our hand wheel is stuck to the shaft the whole shaft wants to come that way and then stops so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fill that with liquid wrench and just let her soak overnight and uh, have at it again tomorrow well there you go we made some more good progress today this is a good time to stop let things soak again uh, it's easy as this thing's been coming apart I don't want to push my luck so um, I'm just gonna let the liquid wrench do its work and then come back out here tomorrow morning go at it again and uh, see how, how far I get so uh, with that I think we'll end this one here it's over 10 minutes now uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you think about the length of these videos I'm trying to hold this series you know between 9 to 12 minutes right in there um, so let me know what you think if it, if it works if it doesn't too short too long whatever and then I'll try to adjust accordingly uh, more new subscribers welcome if you're new here uh, be sure to join us in the comments uh, we got I got a lot of regulars that like to banner in the comments. So welcome new subscribers, glad you're here. And uh, to my existing subscribers as always, thanks for hanging around and uh, sticking with me on all these crazy projects, and reviving old scrap metal into something useful. And so with that, I'm gonna say uh, so long for now. We'll see you later. Bye now.